YouTube kick. Riley Gain exposes a trans woman for breastfeeding. This is going to be very interesting. So let's get right into it. Man, it's been such a long day. Such a long day. You know, having to read these stories and go into these stories, man. Sometimes it's just like, man, you just, you just, you get tired. You know what I'm saying? You do. Riley Gangs. So it all starts with this right here. So y'all remember us going over this whole thing before, right? We talked about um, this Mika Menio. I put a video up about it. <clears throat> and so, you know, we'll just re-go over it. Re-go over it. We'll just re-go go through it. Re-go through it. Let's just go through it again. What am I trying to say? I'm a little off, man. I'm excited. I'm excited to film, you know? In the end, I only breastfeed my child for a few weeks, and I then had to stop because I had cancer relapse and didn't want to poison my child. Here's me on the bus to the hospital for the first chemo round, feeding my child for the first time. And I had mentioned that, you know, I, I don't wish any ill will upon you, and then I said, Mika, I hope you get better. I disagree with what um, he was doing, but hey. So, Riley Gaines, a few days ago, so I didn't see this because I had already made a video so I had not seen that Riley Gaines had already said anything. So Riley Gaines had already said this before I actually, uh, believe before I actually made my video. Um, actually, they might be wrong. I think I made my video. Hold on. I put up my video. Yeah, I put up my video a day ago. So this has, this can only be described as sexual abuse of a child. Now, what is that about? Hmm. So, if we continue to scroll down. Scroll with me. Hey, there, you can't see all that yet. Hold on. Slow down now. Slow down now. <laughs> Riley Gaines goes here to say that proof that the baby in the photo I tweeted yesterday was used as an erotic prop to satisfy a fetish. Notice the nipple clamps. How can someone look at this man and not immediately think he needs to be in prison for a sexual abuse of an infant? The smirk on his face says it all. So they're saying that this picture of this man is not normal. Even down here, she says, let it seek in that we are not normalizing pedophilia. Let me repeat that. We are, oh wait, she says, we are normalizing pedophilia. Let me repeat that. We are normalizing pedophilia because it's this person who says, when you have to test all the nipple clamps in the queer feminist sex store to check, uh, to check you can tug on them, and take photos so your lover can uh, help you pick what to buy. And the queer feminist salesperson selling them is really hot. <sighs> so this is the same guy doing the breastfeeding. And here he puts on, uh, you see he has a nipple clamp on right there. Taking a weird uh, odd picture. And then he has nipple clamps on right here. So, what does this say? Hmm. Is this man a weirdo? Is this man a pedophilia? into better fit is this man questionable look here obviously i can't go and say yes or no but what i can say is what we said before in the video before is that this is this man is odd we had talked about how he was using chemicals to you know give this lactation to this child and i thought that was very problematic because once again, you once again have forcing your child to live in this delusion of yours. And this baby ain't got nothing to do with that. I said this baby is going to grow up very confused, a very hard life to realize that his father was dealing with a mental illness. An issue. And not only that, his father was breastfeeding him through chemicals. And now this comes out that this man may possibly have an erotic fetish for this kind of stuff. So having the baby do that. And you know what? I would normally say, hey, maybe that's a little bit too far. That's a little bit of a throw, a little bit of a stretch. Maybe too far. I can't say that. Why? Because we had gone over a video not too long ago about a man who said he gets off to this. A man said he gets off to having his child Suck on his nipple. <laughs> I know. Very disgusting. Very. Um, and so I can't say it's out of the realm of possibility that that is what's going on here. This man who had just showed up in an interview about water is now getting blasted. I think Riley Gaines may be right in all this. 
You know, she has been really trying to fight for this thing against trans women ever since she, you know, the whole Leah Thomas situation happened or whatever his real name is. Don't know. Don't care. But over that whole situation happened. And now she's starting to stand up. And she's starting to really become an advocate against these people because she thinks it's weird. And you know what? I have to be honest here. We're going to go over something later. Now that's some high quality H2O. Ah. Like I was saying, what I'm going to show you guys something later. And it's going to kind of play into this. But maybe, just maybe, we can assume that some trans people are into children. Some trans people are into these fetishes. Some trans people do get off to going into a woman's bathroom. Some trans people do get off to looking like a female. Some trans people do get off to dressing like a female. I just read an article today talking about a young man who, well, he's not young. This, this guy I wouldn't consider young. This man in his 40s. Going into a pizza hut, following young girls into the bathroom, and flirting with them. And he dresses like a little girl. Can we just have the discussion? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying we got to go against every trans person who's dealing with the mental issue and saying, hey, they're obviously a creep. I'm not saying all that, but I am saying maybe, just hear me out, slow down. Maybe we can have a conversation. Maybe before we are so quick to throw a label on somebody. And say, hey, oh, you're trans, let's validate that. Oh, you're trans, let's just uh, let you be whoever you want to be. Oh, you're trans, of course you can dress up like a little girl. Of course you can this, of course you can that. Maybe for just one second, we can look the men in the eye, those men in the eye, and say, hey, maybe try going to therapy. Maybe try getting some help. Maybe see if there's something going on up there. And it, it, here's the thing. If it really is a fetish for some of these trans people, obviously they also need therapy. But we need to acknowledge that and say that there's a part of the community you need to watch out for. There's some people who may claim that they have the mental illness or just a gender dysphoria, but they actually have a sex addiction, a porn addiction. They actually are maybe a, a danger around certain women because of their addiction. You need to be weary of these people and maybe not be so quick to open your arms and allow these people to be around your children, to be around, um, to be able to walk into your uh, women's bathrooms. Hold on one second. To walk into women's bathrooms and be able to do all these things without any repercussions. Maybe, just maybe, we can allow for that kind of stuff to happen. That's all I'm asking. That's all we're trying to ask. Maybe pump the brakes on accepting the whole love is love and be who you want to be. Maybe we could st take a step back and start stop thinking it's just about sexuality now. Maybe it's about sex. Maybe it's about addiction. Maybe it's about a fetish. Maybe it's about, you know, men who really get off to being women or the thought of it. Why is that out of the possibility? Why is that out of the realm of possibility? And listen, I'm not even saying that most people agree with the trans movement. In fact, I would say maybe most people don't. But the reason we have to keep hammering this home is because the last time we decided to let this slip by, now we got naked people at the parade all around children. If we don't allow ourselves to keep talking about this point and hammering it, I'd said this before, beating this dead horse, we're going to stop it into the ground. We're not getting off of this again. We need to take it serious every single day. And the second we see anybody start to rise up in England, uh, inkling, in inkling, inkling, did I say it? We just go ahead and stop them back down. Because we are going to protect our children at all costs. And so we don't need to get off of this at all. Okay? Let's remember that. Just see that that actually worked. Okay, so let me know what you think. Do you think that this young man is a problem? Do you think it's a danger to his child? Should he be able to raise his child? Do you think he gets off to the fact that his um, his newborn breastfeeds? I, I was trying to make sure I said that as um, politely and appropriately as I could say. I find it sick. I do find it disgusting. If it is true that this man gets off to this, I can't say for sure. I don't know what's in the man's head, but it is topic of conversation. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys on the next topic.
next video. Peace.